I've been watching a lot more RTA replays lately. That's been kind of the thing that's been the most exciting, the most entertaining for me in Summoner's War lately is watching RTA replays. I've been considering, considering, I've been considering punishing myself with doing some more RTA on my main. I already have. I did a little bit of RTA on my main this season so far. I want to do a little bit more. I want to take a little bit seriously. I want to see, you know, how, how we actually rank if I do more wings. And I've been looking at... I've been trying to see like how I approach certain situations and looking at how other people approach situations as well and kind of seeing like, oh, this is what they pick here, this is what they pick there in certain different situations. And I did a couple of videos this week on uh, taking a look at RTA matches. You guys seem to like them, so I'm like, if I like doing it, you guys like watching it, let's just do some more. So today we are going to be taking a look at a super budget comp. I mean, it's super fast too, but it's a super budget comp. Uh, they're using Mina, they're using Fran, they're using Shimate, they're using some budget stuff. There's a couple Nat 5 that's thrown in here and there. But basically, it's just a super fast comp. Uh, using it in G1. They're using Mina a lot. One of the nice things about Mina, they're also using Ethna. Both Mina and Ethna have super fast base speeds, right? That's one of the things, is super fast base speeds and swift runes, and they deal a lot of damage. Ethna's a fantastic unit. I think she's very underrated. She's got AoE defense break. She's got a strip and, well, strip and she steals the beneficial effects, and she potentially stuns here. But one of the nice things about Mina is her base speed is great, which makes her easier to rune. Um, and she also does multi-hits with her passive. Critical rate will be 100% if the enemy has no harmful effects. If she's on swift and she's attacking first, the crit rate is 100%. Uh, because the enemy, nothing moves before her, right? Uh, so attacks target one more time with energy punch when you attack with a critical hit on your turn. And if the crit rate is 100%, she's going to be critting, right? So she does this multi-hit, and then she gets another turn into a first skill. So she can get th three hits, effectively, before the enemy even gets a turn to do anything. And sometimes she can nuke things. So I thought, let's take a look at this, uh, some RTA replays from a super budget comp. They're just fast. And they have some pretty good, uh, pretty good efficiency runes. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at it and let's see what we think. So here's the comp. We got some Shimite, we got some Mina, we got some Fran first pick. He picks a couple Nat fives, right? The, the all Nat fives on the enemy team, right? All Nat fives on the enemy team. I'm assuming that it that is yeah, that looks like a Swift Water Ryu too. So he outspeeds with the Swift Water Ryu. He outs or he outspeeds with the uh, he outspeeds the Swift Water Ryu with the Mina 119 base speed and the Ethna, right? So it looks like Ethna is going to be on his fastest swift set. Goes for the airbender on this. But we see <laughs> just instant delete, right? No defense break or anything, right? Instant delete. Um, get some glancing hits on the enemy. I mean, Shimate is definitely a squishy glass cannon that he's got it ruined like that. It's it's not only is it a budget comp, but it's it's pretty fast as well. You see, this is pretty fast. So, that's GG. He fought against a whole bunch of Nat 5s with mostly a, a three star, two 3 stars, a 4 star, and an Ethna. Don't get me wrong, Ethna's fantastic. Another nice unit that I feel could be great in this comp is uh, Ashir, because Ashir's got a super high base speed. He also has a speed buff, which is going to be nice, especially paired with a Shimite. Uh, does some nice damage. That could be good also with some uh, some Beast Riders. But like a comp like this, like those kind of things work uh, nicely. But yeah, let's take a look at some more. I think you guys are probably going to enjoy it. All you have to do is farm the crap ton of... We're seeing this with this comp and with the last Cleave comp. All you have to do is farm a crap ton of amazing Swift Runes. Easier said than done. Match number two, first pick on the enemy side is Fire Art Master. We've seen that a lot lately. Uh, he's got two speed leads. Picks an Ashubel, right? Picks an Ashubel, bans the Mina, doesn't ban the Ethna, just ban, bans, bans the three star, right? So uh, goes for the strip and trying to stun. He didn't get the stun. He got immunity, but he didn't get the stun. So that looks like, the, is that a swift frame? But the swift frame, we noticed it wasn't moving before like the Ethna or anything else, right? So he goes for a strip and attack gauge reduction. He gets resisted. He could have stripped an attack gauge reduced on that though. That would have been, uh, that would have been nice. So Ashubel's already down. It's not looking great, right? It's looking pretty grim, but there's a combination of AoE defense break followed by a Shimite whose attack power buffed. Gonna do some AoE. Uh, gonna do some AoE damage in a second. His AoE damage is based on speed. He's got a speed lead. Absolutely obliterates a G2 player trying to Gany Hathor. And GG. Shimite is very short. Shimite does a lot of... You can obviously see Shimite does a lot of damage. First pick, Fran. Love this comp. Great budget comp. 
Uh, same same things as the last time. Enemy picks a Vanessa. Uh, and he bans out the Mina. He bans out the Juno. So he banned out the Mina because he didn't think that... He thought the Juno was actually getting through. Juno didn't get through. Bans out the Mina, right? And bans out the Juno because he wanted to make sure that he could uh, CC everything, right? So we got an Airbender. Resisted again. Did get the AoE sleep, though. And I think it's... Uh, Got a lucky, um, got lucky, because that would have killed that Shimite probably, right? Because Shimite's, Shimite's rude, very squishy. Turbulence decreased attack age and also uh, increases his attack age a little bit. Was probably hoping that he could have maybe got just a little bit of damage on that uh, Ciara and not just killed her straight away there, because if he would have killed with the dot, that would have been, uh, that would have been optimal, wasting her turn to die, basically. But you see this, though. You see, this is a Shimite. Shimite's fairly easy to get. <laughs> Most people, I would say, have Shibite, uh, Farble skill ups, uh, and then the Dark Sylph, which was just a Hall of Heroes, which is an underrated unit, I think, right? So here we go again, beating like just a whole team of OP Nat Fives with Fran, which is like the easiest unit to skill up in the game. Uh, two Sylphs, which is just four star. One of those are Hall of Heroes, right? So it's not necessarily that you need amazing units. This is a, this is a great uh, test to the fact that you don't need amazing. Amazing units help you have worse runes and get away with it, but if you farm the runes, you can use a lot of things that people wouldn't necessarily expect, wouldn't necessarily anticipate, and actually do pretty well. Another battle, same comp, enemies picking some super meta you Three speed leads, I'm not actually sure. Oh, you know why they went for the um, the Vanessa speed lead? Because they, they felt like they needed that 33. Because they already had two speed leads, but they felt like they needed that 33 to try to outspeed that, right? So does decent damage to the Vanessa, even though Vanessa, you know, there's no defense breaks or anything, right? Resisted, double resists. Nothing Ciara can do. Ciara even violent procs, nothing she can do. Uh, gets a capture. So Ryu increases his attack age, but he didn't quite get another turn because his attack age was completely decreased down to zero from the skill and then Ryu's passive increases attack age. So, he didn't quite steal a turn right there. Usually he does steal turns, but not necessarily always. Then some damage on him. Not 100% crit rate since there was some debuffs on the enemy team. But we see again this comp beating some super meta units. They did actually, um, H Black did actually get first turn, but he still was able to come back from this even though, well, the Shimite, the Shimite was a little bit on the squishier side, right? So Shimite wouldn't have fared as as Shibate probably would have gone down pretty fast, but uh, there you go. Next match, a little bit different though. He's picking double Onimushas, he's picking double Hell Ladies. Almost as if it's a gimmick team. He bans out the Ragdoll, he picks double Onimushas and then bans out the Ragdoll, right? So we have an AoE defense break, even though there's... I mean, they were going to have immunity either way, right? So he's got the AoE defense break, mostly just for the, uh, the monkey, right? So, unfortunately, Dark Demon comes back, brings back the monkey with his... Uh, Ignore defense skill too, which is pretty brutal. Gets the uh, gets the kill on Ciara actually. I kind of thought Ciara was gonna not die from that, but uh, yeah, now he has to worry about this again, right? Now he has to worry about the Dark Demon again. So the thing is, if you leave the Dark Demon until last, that's generally preferable because I mean he will do a lot of damage. If, I f I feel like the way I approach the Dark Demon is a little bit differently. I like try I try to CC the Dark Demon and then just kill him last. And not really to worry too much about him. But uh, there we go. There's another another one a little bit different. He didn't use the same team. He used the double Onimusha team instead. And beat two uh, LD5s with it too. Next match, back to kind of the same. He doesn't have the double Onimushas. There is a Dark Demon that comes out. So he picks Rocky. Gets the Rocky band out. I wonder how fast... Well, we didn't really see the Rocky the first time. Rocky got banned out the last time. Rocky got banned out this time too. Uh, gets him. He did not get the stun on the Oki, but he does move in. It, he, he did decrease the attack age, and he does move in with the Fran and gives the uh, immunity there, right? So, and then he just deletes things. We're going to see this Dark Demon come back in a second. We're going to see the Dark Demon come back. We're going to see Dark Demon delete probably... Sh oh, I was going to say uh, probably Shimite, but uh, yeah. Let's see. And then he's going to just uh, delete the Dark Demon last, and that shouldn't really be too much of an issue. Gets the stun on him. All right, so there we go. GG. Fairly similar picks from the left-hand side. We've got a CR Okianos, uh, more Gianna, 
G, uh, we, we haven't seen too much of Giannis and his Xiongpeng. So fairly similar, uh, fairly standard control team from the right-hand side. Why do so many people have so many of these OP units this season? Because if you don't have OP units, you don't do RTA. That's what it is. That's what it is. So hoping for a stun on the moor. Did not get the stun, so got AoE. Well, would have gotten AoE stripped. The, uh, the Fran luckily cut in. If the Fran didn't cut in, that would have been open season for Oki to just go in with skill 3 and then CR to come in and bomb, right? So he, he did get the Fran to go. Well, Fran is fast, though. Fran's fast, but Fran's not faster than... It would, be, it would have been hard to make Fran fast in the 119 base speed unit, right? Or the 119 base speed units. So, deletes Okeanos with the attack power buff from that Mina. Deletes Okeanos. And there we go. <laughs> GG. They were just, it's just, it's a, it's a matter of speed. It's a matter of speed being faster. Even the Fran cut it. Like, again, if the Fran was not fast enough, she wouldn't have cut in. She wouldn't have been able to do her uh, immunity. That would have been a very much a different story if she didn't cut in and get her immunity in. Next match, same guy, right? Same, same first picks from the, the left-hand side. Picks a Juno and a Proha on the right-hand side. And a Water Dice Magician. Water Dice Magician. Here we go. So it goes for the Shatter. For at least a defense break on Juno, some uh, uh, some attack age cycling, and then goes for. Does he get the ignore defense? He gets two ignore defense. It's not huge, but it's two ignore defense. And you got you got to think that this is not a pleasant situation to be in if you are in one of the best guilds on the the Europe server, and you just got water dice magicianed. He has got a f that phone is in a million pieces right now. Water dice magic. I did that a few. Se I I did it maybe like a year and a half ago, like uh, several seasons ago. I water dice magician someone. I got lucky. I beat someone I shouldn't have beaten, and I was like, I I want to try to not queue up against this guy again because first off he knows the trick that I was going for. Second off, this is not gonna work twice. This is not gonna work twice. Next comp, he does something totally different, right? He's got the CR out, but he's still also picking. Uh, two star, three star, and two four stars, right? Two four stars that were probably pretty easily attainable from that, uh, well, from the seven year scrolls and from the special summons as well. So. Just two shots, most of the team. Two shots. One of the nice things actually is that these, um, the Kaki and the Suiki are actually pretty good against the Kinky. That sounds so weird to say that, but. They are actually pretty good against him because he can't be crit on, and they don't crit anyway. So actually, one of the counters to this uh, this light one is the fire one and the water one. I really should finish these guys. I really should skill them up. I, mine, mine don't have skill ups. Because I was like, I don't know if I like them. They don't crit. Like, I, they, you, they're effective. They're effective. But I'm like, ah, they're not as fun to play with because they don't crit. But I really need to just suck it up and and, and actually use them actually skill them up. I'm sure I have scalp somewhere. Maybe. I mean, he did some pretty decent damage, though, that, that uh, the light one. Even though he's an HP tank, he still did some pretty decent damage. Right? But they just get deleted anyway from the fact that... Because the light one can't get crit on, right? So he got deleted anyway from the two units that do have a ton of attack power and don't crit regardless and have fantastic multipliers on skill three. So anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got a kick out of it. Being able to see some pretty bu- I mean, look at this. This is a pretty budget comp. Considering. Like, there were some Hell Ladies that he was picking here and there. He picked the Vanessa here. He picked the CR- He picked the CR earlier in the match. But then it didn't even get through. And he's- He's beaten some LD5 teams, man. With just four stars. It's just the power of runes. The power of runes and the power of picking the right units for the job. But anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you as always in the next one.